Welcome to Shadows Over Loathing, a game in the Loathing series, I guess. I don't know what the series is called. Kingdoms of, Kingdom of Loathing, and then West of Loathing, and now Shadows Over Loathing. The first one was fantasy, the second one was a western, and now we've got... Uh, well, I guess we'll find out. Can't go that way because there's a magazine stuck to my face. This smells like a diner, and it smells like they're open. Hopefully they don't have a no shirt, no shoes, magazine stuck to your face, no service sign posted. Let's go in. Howdy. Murf, murf, murf. I'm not talking to you until you wipe that look off your face. Murf, learn. A copy of Look magazine that's stuck to your face. Bathroom's in the back. She points over to the right, as far as you know. Thanks. You shouldn't bother anybody until you get the magazine off your face, but I want to. Alright. It's a bathroom, probably. You blunder your way into the bathroom and eventually find the sink. After fumbling with the faucet for a while, you manage to disentangle yourself from the magazine. You stare into the mirror, revealing... Yes? My face. Uh... That one, probably. That's the most me-like face. There you are. I have meat. I have inventory. I have options. Um, can I talk to people now? A couple of young women are chatting breezily over coffee. Hey kitten, what town is this? Poughkeepsie, are you two traveling? Yeah, Ocean City's turning into a real sawmill, so we've boosted her jelly beans breezer for a weekend whirl to the hot potato. Oh, bourgeois, you make it sound like we went south with it. I flew him like a kite. Everything's Jake. Jeez, I'm pretty sure I'm only three or four years older than you two, but I barely understood what you're saying. What are you, a cancelled stamp? Go put some pepper in your shoes. Uh, yeah. I'll try that. A couple of older folks are having an animated discussion. Well, one of them is. Hmph! <laughs> the way these young women act these days, with their short hair and their sassy talk and their dresses that don't even cover their... their... ankles? It's scandalous, and those dances they do flailing about like I don't know what. I'd have thought the prohibition would have put the kibosh on that sort of tomfoolery, but no, sir. Can't imagine dancing a waltz to the music they're playing nowadays, though. And that's the problem right there. This newfangled jazz music with all the drums and... and clarinets and such. What kind of word is that, anyway? Jazz. I think our cups got switched. You're supposed to be drinking decaf. Oh. Some petty vandal has scratched the name Dan Bob into the surface of this table. This man is concentrating very hard on his coffee. Hey there, is there something particularly interesting about that coffee? It's my first one. Of the day? No, it's my first coffee ever. Oh, what do you think? I think it's a bad beverage. It's bitter, and it makes my stomach hurt. Ah, uh, well, it's not for everybody, I suppose. Yeah, I think I'll have another one after this, though. And then maybe every morning for the rest of my life. Well, enjoy! Well now, that looks much better. I'm Ethel. I'm a different first name than those. I'm Artemis. Hi, I'm Artemis. Artemis who? Artemis Twinleaf. Artemis Twinleaf. Pleased to meet you, Artemis Twinleaf. What can I get you? Does the bus to o Ocean City pick up here? Sure does. Should be here any minute. Good thing, too. I hear we're in for a rain tonight. What takes you to Ocean City? My uncle lives there. I got a letter from him. He wants me to help him with something. That's a reason, hon, but it's somebody else's reason. What's your reason? Ethel locks eyes with you. I, uh... Um, um, I just really want to help. Your uncle must be pretty important to you. Everybody who needs help deserves help. I got Scout's Honor. 
I just love helping people. Well, isn't that sweet? The world could use more folks like you, I think. Smile and leave. Oh, I have a character sheet now. I have scouts on her. And no talents. Go out and wait for the bus. It's raining. And a prologue. I'm looking at my character sheet. Oh, I mean, I'm pulling out the letter I got from Uncle Murray to read it again. Murray Morris, care of Murray's Antiques, 111 Plunkett Street, Ocean City. Dear Artemis, I hope this letter finds you well and I hope it finds you quickly. Something quite serious has happened and I need the help of your adventuresome spirit. Come to my shop in Ocean City as soon as you're able, please. Your Uncle Murray. Put the letter away. There's different people. And a clown. Or maybe not a clown. Maybe just a guy with silly hair. But I think it's a clown. You're just about to go mad from the, from the monotony of this ride when suddenly the bus judder, judders to a stop. You look out the window expecting to see the sights and sounds of Ocean City, but instead you see an endless expanse of extremely wet trees. Uh-oh. What happened? It's the bus driver. Talk to him. What's going on? This doesn't look like Ocean City. Nope. Sorry about this, but we're out of gas. Aw, oh, jeez. You didn't fill up before we left? I filled up the gas, but this trip takes exactly one full tank of gas. He hands you an empty gas can. Plus one additional can. Swell. Why do I have to go get it? Well, I'd go for myself, except for two reasons. Those being, firstly, being as I am the bus driver, I'm legally responsible for this bus, and I gotta keep an eye on it. And secondly, because of my leg. What's wrong with your leg? It's attached to a fella that don't want to go wandering around in the rain at night. <sighs> well, alright then. Guess I haven't got much choice. Can I borrow your umbrella at least? This is a left-handed umbrella. I am left-handed as it happens. But you aren't registered to my umbrella's insurance. Nuts. Sorry about that. Here, I do have a flashlight you can use though. Good luck. Thanks. I am not actually left-handed, but I was hoping I could get the umbrella anyway. This looks gas. Great. Seems like just yesterday the gas only cost six and fifteen sixty fourths a meat a gallon. Sigh, those were the days. This station's out of service, but I went in anyway. Even either they're out of postcards or all the scenery here around here is invisible. There's one object left on the snack shelf. I got a cheese loaf. Ew, nobody in their right mind would consider this vile substance a snack. It's weird that the cash register is pointed towards the front of the store. I got some loose meat. There's no baseball bat leaning against the wall here. I have a baseball bat. Empty cans, a whole pyramid of them. This sign says an employee's only. Are you an employee? Yes. Really? You never mentioned working at a gas station. Yes, really. Well, okay, if you say so. A desk, presumably optimized for doing gasoline-related business. Four of the drawers contain nothing but old receipts and pencil stubs. The fifth one, I... is locked. The broken radio can still be considered nice. This is a pretty nice radio. This shelf is laden with miscellaneous electrical widgets and doodads. You don't have any use for any of them, though. This shelf is full of old personnel files. Look me up! I'll be darned. Here's your file. You do work here. Sorry I ever doubted you. Each object that you examine on yourself is dirtier and more boring than the one you looked at before. Well, that's cool. Filling station garage. Looks like this is the control for that car lift thing. Nothing happens, it must not have power. Yeah, well, I don't have mysticality enough for that. A fuse box. Hmm. As advertised, this is a box containing one fuse. However, the fuse is broken, which is probably not intended. 
you should keep an eye out for a replacement. There must be one around here somewhere. Nope, I was not trying to do that. Look for a fuse. I got a fuse. I dug through the boxes to find a single unblown fuse. Replace the fuse. Click. Done. Press it. Car time. The car is missing its gas tank, but there is a big glass of gasoline in the cup holder. As you do. So now I have a third of a full gas can. Okay. That's helpful. There's nothing else of interest in the car. There's also no interest for a year if you'd like to buy it. I would not. Suit yourself. Finnegan's Optional Boxing Gym. You don't have to fight if you don't want to. A miserable looking hitchhiker standing in the rain, listlessly sticking out her thumb. Hi there! Her head turns very slowly to face you and her eyes don't quite meet yours. Can you give me a lift? I need to get to Albany. Sorry, I'm going the other way. Oh. Also, I don't have a car. Oh. What's your name? Lydia. Nice to meet you, Lydia. Although I admit the circumstances aren't great. So, what's in Albany? You have family there? No. I just want to go. Somewhere. Albany isn't new, though. It's one of the oldest cities in the country. Ha ha. Okay, that's fair. Do you know where I can get some gas? Gas? The bus I was on ran out, and the driver sent me to find some more. Bus? Yeah, I'm trying to get to Ocean City. I've never been there. Well, okay then. How about this rain, huh? Lydia looks very slightly surprised, and glances around slowly. Oh, it's raining. Yup, sure is. What a night to be stuck out on the road, right? I hadn't noticed. I get the feeling you aren't much of a noticer. Well, anyway. Um, uh, seen any good movies lately? I saw Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde at the Nickelodeon. Oh, that's a classic. What did you think? It was very scary. I like it. I prefer comedies myself. Have you seen the new Buster Keaton one? The cameraman? I don't know who that is. Oh, he's great. You have to see Sherlock Jr. That's my favorite. Really terrific. Um, read any good books lately? I read The Invisible Man. It was really good. Oh yeah, H.G. Wells is great! Have you read his new one? War in the Air? I didn't care for it. The one I'm thinking of is Mr. Something on Something Island. I forget the name, but it was terrible. His early works are his best, like the time machine. Yeah, I love that one. I'm glad we were able to find something we could connect on, Lydia. So, um... Um... Okay, bye, good luck. This field is extremely corny. Hey, uh, I ain't wanna be unfriendly, but this is a private residence that y'all just barted into. Oh geez, sorry, everything's so desolate outside, I guess I just assumed this place was abandoned. Well, come morning you'll be right, so you might as well get you might as well get out in out of the rain for a spell. Thanks. My name's Artemis Twinleaf. Howdy, Artemis. I'm Elias. Elias Checo. Make yourself right at home. All these boxes are labeled bears. Ask about them. Are all these boxes really full of bears? No, those boxes are bo boxes are all canned pears. I had a little fun writing the labels, though. You want a can? I got one left that didn't fit. Bibson's Extra Sweet Pears. Nice. Gee, thanks. 
That's not what I meant to do. Go back in. Go back in. I was trying to come check out these... I mean, the rifle hanging above the fireplace, I guess. Are you leaving this rifle behind? Yep. Well, how come? Well, it's a varmint rifle, and where I'm going, there ain't any varmints. There's varmint, sure, to be sure, and critters and such as lack of that. But the almanac don't list any examples of a varmint qua varmint, if you know what I mean. I do know what you mean. No need to fret over it right now, in any case, that gun is for later. Later? I uh, yep, much later. Huh, okay. It's a literal Chekhov's gun. Cool. Elias is looking around and mumbling to himself as he checks off his mental to-do list. So, you're moving out? Uh, yep. I finished packing, so now I'm just waiting for the movers to come and take this last load of stuff. You got movers coming in the middle of the night? No, nah, in the morning. But I went and packed my teddy bear and I forgot which box he's in. Can't sleep. I see. Why are you leaving? Well, my daughter went off to college, so there's nothing keeping me here. I never particularly cared for the farming anyhow. Just kind of fell into it, you know? So I reckon I'd take the opportunity to retire and travel a bit. See what kind of trouble I can get up to, huh? Eh? Nice. So, what's your story? What are you doing out on a night like this? I got a letter from my Uncle Murray. It sounded ur urgent, so I hopped on a bus to Ocean City. I ain't sure how to tell you this, but you got a ways to go yet. Yeah, the bus ran out of gas, so the driver sent me to scavenge for some more. I gotcha. Well, I think there's an old gas can in the barn out back. You're welcome to it. Thanks. Gotta warn you, though. You'll have to fight my daughter for it. What? Well, technically, I should say my daughter's monster. What? It's a thing my daughter Simone built. What? See, my kid's a real technical whiz. She built an autonomous, an autonomous robo traption to help with plowing and harvesting and the like. Worked real nice, too. Wow. Problem is, after she left, it blew a what's-it tube and got violent. I'm pretty good with machinery, but when it comes to these newfangled elect electrics, I might as well be a dog trying to read Play-Doh, so I locked it in the barn. Uh-huh, I see. You're welcome to try your hand against it if you've got a mind to, but please be careful. It's got a lot of sharp bits on it. Here's the key. Thanks. These boxes are labeled tears. Wait, are these boxes of tears or tears? Don't be ridiculous. Can't put neither one of them in the boxes. That don't make any kind of sense. All right. What's in here? Stocks? Scissors! This is a very large box, considering that most people either have owned zero or one class ring. Is this box really full of class rings? You have about 140 of them. Did you go to college 140 times? Heh, <laughs> nah, of course not. I just collect them as all. Why? Well, they're rare, but not very rare. They're all different in interesting ways, and they're shiny. That there's the collecting trifecta. Huh. Well, okay then. What's in the gears box? Well, what's with the, these boxes of gears? Simone left those behind when she went off to school. Figured I should keep them for her. Makes sense. Alright, what's this door? This door looks like it hasn't been used in a while. Where's this door lead, I ask you? Spare bedroom. Ain't been using forever. I don't even bother opening the door since that dust devil got in there. Feel free to help yourself, though. I doubt you'll find much of use. A dust devil? Yeah, those critters been a real nuisance around here. They're attracted to beds that ain't been cleaned under properly, and since I lost my broom back in 26, it's been a real... What did Simone call it? A nutrient-rich environment? Only little beast. Real territorial. Alright, I'll be careful. A tasteful arrangement of dried fronds. It's a shelf full of pulp westerns. Fist fight at Cowboy Ranch. The betrayal at Cow Creek. Shootout at Six Gun Mountain. The Buffalo of the West. Hey, this one looks like it's worth a read. The Handgun's Tale. Bandits of the Sunset Mountain. The Incident at Rattlesnake Ranch. Cows of Tarnation. The Showdown at Dry Arroyo. The Betrayal at Owl Arroyo. The Wrestlers of Glory. I think I'm done looking at these now. We have a book. I want to read the book. Read the book. I don't have enough mysticality to read the book. 
unpack my luggage. Oh. Yeah. Okay. A dusty old nightstand. Ten meat! Nice! Okay, and I think... Oh, there's a loose floorboard here. I don't have, like, a crowbar or anything, though. I think in the... I'm gonna end this episode off here, and in the next one we will go investigate the dust devils. But for now... Bye-bye!